Okay, so this caricature is a spoof of my blackboard in my classroom. It includes the date, the homework, topics for the day, sports news, etc., etc. And I love Einstein. Created around the turn of the century. Okay, let's do one more example of a rational expression involving complex trinomials. They're complex because that's not a one there or there. Because it's not a one, in order to factor the numerator, we have to find two numbers that multiply to two times negative one, which is negative two, and they add up to that number, which is one. So you can probably see pretty quickly that the two numbers are two and negative one. Just check that. So then we take this complex trinomial and we rewrite it as 2y squared plus 2y minus y minus 1. And then we factor by grouping, so we group those two and those two. So I can factor a 2y out of the first two, leaving me with y plus 1. Then just copy this because if it's going to work, these factors have to be the same. Then ask yourself what number has to go there to make this equal to that. That's negative 1. Now I can factor out the y plus 1s, bring that to the front. Whatever's left over goes in the second bracket, so 2y minus 1. And that's what I get for the numerator. y plus 1 times 2y minus 1. Of course, as we've said before, you can change the order of these two. If you want to check to make sure that's right, you can multiply it out using FOIL, and you'll get this. But you don't need to do that. You can just check the back of the book. Now, if you want to do the same thing for the second one, you have to find two numbers that multiply to give 2 times 3, which is 6, and the same two numbers have to add up to can you think of two numbers that work? Oh, you're right. It turns out there are no numbers that work. So we just keep this the same. 2y squared plus 4y plus 3. Um, we did have to simplify the numerator because that's considered more simple than the expanded form. But we can't go any further than this. So there you have it. Now in future videos, I'll probably talk about the other ways you can factor complex trinomials, the Australian method, the trial and error method, just to see what you, which you prefer. So stay tuned. See you then. Bye-bye.